Okay, I think we are recording. Yes, we are. Okay, so we're. This is for how to make a drum beat, and um, I'm just gonna upload this to, for everyone to see. But basically, I'm I'm basically making this for you because we talked the other day about how to make an actual drum beat, and you were like completely clueless, but you could sing and you could play chords and you thought gee I don't know the technique for doing it so a lot of it has to do with a theory of just knowing what to do as opposed to pushing the buttons but I'm going to show you both because I don't know what you know and what you don't know what I have right now is a Pro Tools session that has <clears throat> my voice coming in on a mic so I can hear you can hear the voice and hear the music I'm about to do also so this is like basic, 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 basic as can be, because a lot of people don't know even what drums do and how they go. They might play piano, but they never played in a band where you kind of learn through osmosis um, what happens with drums. So first, do this. You need to make a track, and I'm just going to go through the process in case you don't even know that, but I'm assuming you do. And this might apply to anyone else who uses it for everything else. So I'm going to make a stereo instrument track all right so you're going to use that okay now the instrument that i'm going to use is going to be it, you can use whatever you want but um where is my instrument i'm going to use this thing called expand and the reason is is it's like a whole plethora of it's just like an old keyboard where they had a little bit of everything nothing's fantastic but there's a little bit of everything but i've been able to use some of the stuff it's just not like it does anything great um all right uh all right i'm gonna put on this rock drums okay because all i'm trying to do is focus on how a normal drummer trends to play basically so when i hit let me i gotta make sure i hit the record button and then when i hit the c which is like C1 or something like that. It's way down there. So there's my kick, right? And then I have a snare. So I'm just going to focus on the kick snare, okay? So if you got that up and you're at that point, now we can start going to something else we need, which is the click. All right, so we're going to go to track, create a click track. Now if I hit play, hopefully for you, it plays. Okay, now I'm going to go some basic music theory that some people are going to find so slow and so sleepy. Um, go up here to your grid, all right, and so where it says grid, that's so you have a grid and it highlights what you can get. And that's your quanti quantizing. I don't actually know the actual way to say that. Up here under grid, so you can see the grid, okay. Now this is what I was talking about. Like, you, you do want it to be a bar. This is when you, we move m notes around. But we're going to start with the basics. So we're going to start with eighth notes. So what? what is an eighth note? Okay. If you don't know this, I'm going to start from the very beginning. A whole, generally, there's this thing called a time signature. All right. And that's when they say one bar, it's because in sheet music, they use this line that goes up and down to show you where the bar is. So this slang is kind of, or this mu this musical term has gone to like one bar. Now in most music, if you want to start out, it's easiest to say, let's just do, they call 4-4 four, four time. And the reason you do that is because it has four, just basic, I'm not trying to get into deep theory for you and confuse you, but it's four beats per measure. So you got one, two, three, four. So if I play this click, it's, so you hear it, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, okay? Now it's looping. When you when you highlight this and you go like this, you you got a loop. Um, in the old days, the sequence, in the old days, we just played music and you'd make verses and choruses and then you'd play the music and every verse and chorus was a little bit different because every time you strum your guitar or played the piano or they played brass or whatever they did, it would just naturally be different. And then they thought, well, gee, we'll make this, we'll just repeat the verse of the chorus when we use drum machines, which are overly accurate um, and not human at that time, like Lynn drums and things like that. Long story short, they started making loops because they thought if you went boom, bop, boom, boom, bop, and you just said, I'll just do that eight times, that was okay. Personally, I remember organic music. I like to almost make each 
I like each measure and each thing to be slightly different. But for now, to get you started, this is basics of a drum beat. So first, we have to learn what the heck is a measure, right? So here's a measure, and we're going to say four, four time. Now, understand this could be three, four time, which would be one, two, three, one, two, three. And then you can get like eight, 13, and all this crazy stuff that you don't need to know because most music is in four, four time that you hear to get started for beginners. I just don't want a bunch of people saying, there's so much music and that's the wrong thing. It just is. So four beats, okay? Just needed to know there's four beats, all right? So we got four beats. Now, a whole note, if you don't know this because you gotta learn my lingo, is the whole measure. That's why they call it. But a whole note has four beats, all right? <clears throat> now, a half note, so when I go up here into my grid and I say, there's a half note, it is half the measure. So it's really one, Two, one, two. So if it was a note, it'd be like bam or bam, bam. So does that make sense? Or it'd be boom, 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 boom. All right. So let's go to a quarter note real quick. And here's a quarter note. One, boom, boom, boom. So generally the click, when they set up clicks, it's going to be on the quarter note. It's a quarter of the measure. You just need to know it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, let's just go to eighth notes and then we're gonna back up to that quarter notes. So eighth notes gonna be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And they do the ands to mimic the sound between. And you can even see in this grid, they put this little like lighter line because it's not as important to everyone as the actual beat of the four things. Now, there's some other terms that we use, like the downbeat. The downbeat means this beat right there. So if you wanted to put a kick drum on the downbeat, you'd go bump, bump, okay? Then we talked last night about snares tend to land on two and four. And that's because people tend to clap on two and four. Example would be like one, two, three, four, you know? Here she come down singing Monet, Monet. Okay, right? And y'all can make fun of me for my singing. I used to actually make a living before I lost my voice. So then um, kicks tend, tend to be at least on the one. If it's a one measure beat, but because some asshole is going to get on there and go, not all the time. Then if you had a two measure beat kind of a rhythm, then you might have bump. Boom, 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 ba 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 boom, 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 ba ba boom, boom. So you 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 ended up missing this one. All right. <clears throat> so first thing I want to do when I do this is we'll just separate this into a few different tracks. How about we'll make like three more tracks just so we can play around. All right. And we'll call this kick, snare. Symbols, other. Now, I will just tell you when I actually sequence, when I don't, I don't do it this way. I actually just want to get in the groove. I want to loop this. And then I'm going to separate, like I, I make all the tracks on one track and then I loop it. And when I get everything done, because it's just so much faster, then I go through and I separate the kick from the snare, from the cymbals, maybe the crashes, maybe the toms, maybe percussion. And then I print it, which means I turn it into audio tracks. Because once I really have it, I don't want it in MIDI. And the reason you don't want that is because you're going to come back 10 years from now and that MIDI instrument will not exist. And that's the problem. Or it just doesn't work properly or they upgraded it. It's not compatible with your system or some crap like that. But audio is audio is audio and it will always kind of work. All right. <clears throat> so as I taught you, so we're going to start with some real basic drum beats as exercises. And I want you to make these and then you will start learning a little bit. So first we're going to hopefully I'm going to have a loop. So I'm hitting record. Uh, do you want all of them recording? Okay. And I'm going to go two, two. And I'm going to hit this on the snare, right? One, two, three, four, one. All right, so I messed up. So what you also have to do, so let me talk about some systems that you have to set up. Is it option one? No, it's zero one. I'm sorry, I still don't have it. Is it command one? Yeah, so command one, we used to call it Apple, and you got your transport. This thing right here, 
that's so you got to have this on so that the turn this one off by the way your 120 beats per minute here's your click here's your overdub um here's the other thing i wanted you to do this is not how i normally do it but i want you to do it as you're learning this is the quantize stuff all right so under events under event operations i want you to go to the input quantize just for learning disclaimer all right and let's set this to eighth notes for now okay so all music tends to have like a it tends to have a highest resolution of notes you'll find sometimes you have to change it but never is it quarter notes it tends to be either eighth notes or 16th notes that you're going to quantize at or you're going to you're going to hit the tuplet button because you're going to do some swing just tends to so we're just going to work with eighth notes right now because we're doing very basic stuff all right so to make this drum beat this quantize thing will round it off if i'm like if you watch if i'm actually play this note i can't show you right here it's going to decide if it wants to put it there or there that's how quantizing works but let's go ahead i'm hitting record which is number three okay and then we're gonna hit this snare on the two and the four okay one two three 